flyers and airplanes. We do it, we fly for work often, but we decided early in our relationship when we met each other, we said, hey, we're both scared of flying, we're scared of airplanes, let's fly together. <laughs> doesn't seem like it makes sense from the beginning. It doesn't seem like it makes sense, but logically to us, we're like, oh, if I'm scared, I'll come for you, and if you're scared, you'll come for me. And so what it ended up being was two guys scared, <laughs> two guys next to each other, like this on the airplane. Since that time, I've become much more comfortable. I've said, yeah, I'm flying to these great places to see these amazing supernatural friends, these, these amazing people. The energy is so good, I, I refuse to think anything bad could happen. And it's been beautiful ever since. Earlier, before I got fully comfortable with flying, we were on a flight to Australia from Sydney to Melbourne and uh, Melbourne. And uh, that was weird, I know, it's an Australian thing. We are on the flight to, uh, from Sydney to Melbourne, and I go, Rich, you look tired. I'm gonna sit with Rob. I feel like he's gonna be there to comfort me if there's any turbulence in the plane. And Rob is so comfortable on an airplane. He's, what, what Rob likes to say is, uh, you know, I'm comfortable on an airplane and uncomfortable about everything else in life. <laughs> so, I sit next to Rob, two seats. I gotta, I gotta act out the whole thing, I hope that's all right. Here we go. I need one more seat. This will be Richard's big seat. <laughs> Two rows back in the middle row. So let me set up the plane. Big plane, one hour flight, not even getting up to 36,000 feet. So we've got two rows, and then the middle section has three seats. One, two, three. And then the far side of the thing has two more seats. This is all relevant to the story. Here's Robbie in the window. Uh, yeah, you know, man, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. I'm gonna watch a movie, I'm open the window, and close the window. Open the window, and close the window. You know, I'm so comfortable, I don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna take out the iPad, I'm gonna watch a movie. Woo! And here's me. This is how I do it. I. Before we even take off, this is just my. This is how I start my flights. Ah, oh, okay, it's good. Good thoughts. Candy and cake and wine and things that make me happy. I think all the best things I can. I think about all the people I love. I just try to get all the positive energy every month. Feeling good. I'm like, yeah, feeling good. Robbie's doing his thing. Looks super confident over here. He's like, ah, shh, woo. Don't know which movie to watch. Supernatural season one, two, three. I don't know which one to watch, man. Robbie, you got it. Headphones on. Start taxiing. Here's Rich. <laughs> Looking drowsy at this point. He's pulling one of these. I need the, the close-up right now on the face. Here's Rich. He's starting to do the lazy eyes. <laughs> he's trying to keep himself awake to make sure he's still scared. He's so tired that if he just closed his eyes for one minute, he would fall asleep in the chair and just be happy as a bee. But no, he's like, I'm scared of flying. I need to stay awake. Make sure my fears come true. So we take off. Smooth takeoff. It's raining. There's some clouds outside. Not five minutes into the takeoff, here's Rich. <laughs> Sleeping like a baby. Here's Rob. God, you know what? I was really, really good on Supernatural. I was so good. Oh, God. This is great. I love watching my own face on here. Right. You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? Am I You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna Google myself. Here's me.
Okay, that's how I always fly. So now you have the characters. Rich over there, I'm pissed off that he's sleeping. Looking at him. <laughs> Just, he's enjoying himself so much, nothing could aggravate me more. Nothing, I, I was so jealous of his sound sleep. Robbie's doing his thing, making lots of noises, and fast increments. <laughs> that was just <laughs> signing autographs for himself. The lady, the flight attendant comes by. <laughs> flight attendant comes by with the car and the sodas. Coming by, waves at us, Rob. <laughs> I think she recognizes me. <laughs> me. On a, on a flight that's not going to be too long. I'm almost excited. I'm just like, yeah, so I'm going to get used to this flying thing. I'm thinking of my head and positive thought. We hit an air pocket that drops the plane about 200 feet. Like, my stomach was in my brain. I, the, the dinner that I ate earlier was coming out of my ear. It was, we hit turbulence so hard, it was like, <laughs> And so this is what happens. I grab the side of the seat. Huga! Panic attack, losing my mind. Robbie. Mr. Confident Flyer. Very, very calm when he flies. Robbie is like this. Scared to death, looks to Robbie for comfort, right? I'm pulled on. <laughs> Robbie still. I don't know. No, 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 no. His iPad flew. The lady's cart. We hit the turbulence. The cart goes. <laughs> Sodas everywhere. Turbulence stops, I'm sweating. Red, there's red, sweat, rocks. His hands have become part of the armrest. <laughs> Take a deep breath. <sighs> okay, still alive. Still alive. <laughs> oh God. Boy, where's your brain? Richard's all by himself. Oh my god. Please. 
He had no idea what just happened. Misha comes out of the bathroom. Richard and Rob, man. 